Hi my lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is Anjali and thank you so much for stopping by Karwa chauth is round the corner so i created this karwa chauth appropriate look with a golden cut crease so if you want to see how i created this look then please keep watching okay so i am starting with clipping my hair back so that there is no disturbance and uh, there is no hair coming in between while i'm doing my makeup so here i'm done and then i am going in with my rimmel london fix and perfect primer the usual drill taking it out of my finger applying it on my keyzone and then whatever is left i'm just uh, going to blend it on to my cheeks then i'm going to color correct my under eyes with uh, my mac prep and prime orange color corrector and applying it on to my eyelids and my under eyes because these two places are the most pigmented areas of my face also going around my mouth a little bit and then blending it away with my finger if you want you can also blend it with a beauty blender that will also do the same thing but uh, i just feel comfortable with doing it with my finger and i'm lazy in washing beauty blenders as well for my foundation today i am going in with my nyx total control draw foundation in the shade classic tan and caramel and i am going to apply it directly onto my face oops and i am going to mix it with the beauty blender and i am adding a uh, vitamin e ceramin oil uh, onto the beauty blender just a couple of drops this will actually ensure that i don't have a uh, dry skin because lately from last couple of days i have really dry skin i don't know what's uh, really happening to my skin but uh, my skin is getting dry from i think last one week right now it's looking slightly lighter maybe but uh, it does oxidizes a little bit so uh, just bear with me i'm also bringing the foundation down my neck for concealer again i am going in with uh, these two concealers l'oreal true match and uh, in the maybelline instant age rewind instant age rewind i am just going under my eyes and also onto my eyelid and the true match one uh, on every other places including my eyes down the bridge of my nose my forehead chin it's cool and i am slightly going around my lips as well and i'm going to blend it with a mini beauty blender and uh, i am also using my essence uh, keep it perfect makeup fixing spray onto the blender a little bit the fixing spray will make sure that uh, my concealer is not moving all day long since this is a festive look and festive and fasting so it is difficult for like uh, especially every time i fast i'm like uh, i really don't after the second half i just don't feel like doing anything or maybe any kind of uh, also retouch of makeup or anything like that so this will make sure that my concealer is not moving to contour my face i am using my kiko milano concealer in the shade 09 
I wanted to go in with my Laurel Infallible first, but uh, this is quite a cool tone uh, foundation for me. And this one is a warm tone, so I am going in with this one today. You definitely don't need to go in with the same thing. You can definitely go for something else if you want to. Uh, there are darker concealers also and there are a lot of contouring products from Maybelline and in fact uh, in Laurel as well. I'm using a flat head brush for uh, blending my contour out. For my jawline contour, I am use, I am just uh, dragging the concealer down. For my nose contour, I am using my fingers because I just feel like this works best for me. You can definitely go in with a beauty blender or uh, maybe a um, brush as well. I am also going in with my beauty blender just to make sure there are no harsh lines and everything is nice and blended. To set my eyes, I am using my Makeup Revolution Bake and uh, Finished Luxury Baking Powder and taking it onto my uh, beauty sponge. I'm not really baking my under eyes, I am only just going to set my under eyes and also my eyelids. I'm also applying it onto the places where I applied the concealer. To set my contour, I am using my NYX highlight and contour palette and taking these two shades right here, the first and the last shade, basically the last and the first contour shades, I am going to contour my face. And to set my nose contour and all the tiny places I am using a, a blending brush as is dipping in the darkest shade this one tapping up the excess and I'm just setting the other areas For my blush today, I am using my NYX Sweet Cheeks palette and I am going in with this shade right here with my blusher brush. And I am going on with onto the apples of my cheek. For my highlight, I am going in with my Maybelline Master for Metallic highlight in the shade. 50 molten rose gold and I am going on the high points of my cheek onto the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow Before starting my eye makeup, I am going in with my baby lips so that my lips are nice and uh, moisturized while I put my lipstick on. For my eyebrows today, I am going in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert Pencil and this is in the shade Warm Blonde.
Then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade medium to dark. So that my eyebrows doesn't budge all day long. For my transition shade, I am going in with uh, the Makeup Revolution Soft Palette in the shade, this shade over here uh, called Kappa Tea. I'm just tapping off the excess. And gently applying onto my crease. This shade is very much similar to my own skin tone, so this is going to serve as a really nice uh, transition color for my eyelids. Then for the rest of my eyes, I am going in with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I am taking this shade first and there is no name on the uh, shade so yeah and I'm just slowly building my crease Then I am going in with this color right here with a smaller blending brush. Firstly, I am depositing the color onto the outer corner of my eyes and then bringing the rest towards the inner corner. Next, I'm taking this uh, brown shade right here and again depositing it into my crease. Now to darken the outer corners, I am going to apply this darkest brown shade and, and simply going to apply it onto the outer corner. So that there is a nice gradation of color onto my lid. And then I'm using our blending brush, I am going to blend everything out. Now to cut my crease, I am using my MAC paint pot in the shade Soft Poker. I just hope you can see this. And I am going in with a flat brush and just going to cut the crease. Now for my lid, I am again going in with the Makeup Revolution Soap Palette and I am using this shade right here, this glittery shade. Actually, I am just going to spray my brush a little bit. And then I am going in with this shade, which is called Grow Old. I'm actually going in with my finger so that I can easily do the inner corners. The only problem is that there is a lot of fallout with the letters. For my eyeliner, I am going in with my Maybelline Hyper Precise All Day Eyeliner and I'm going to draw a vein. I 
Now for my lower lash line, I am going in with my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel 24 Hour Pencil, Automatic Gel Pencil and I am going to apply onto my waterline as well as tight line. Then I am going in with the pencil brush with this shade to smudge my lower lash line out. And then for my outer corners, I am again going in with the darkest shade over here. Only on to the outer corners. For my inner corner and the brow bone highlight, I am again going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome uh, Metallic Highlighter in the shade 50 Molten Rose Gold. And slightly going to highlight my brow bone. And onto the inner corners of my eyes. Now for my mascara, I am again going in with the Maybelline False Lashes and curling my eyelashes before going in with the mascara. For my lipstick, I am going in with the Maybelline Color Drama in the shade 510. I am lining my lips first and then filling my lips in. And I am finishing off my makeup with my NYX Dew uh, Finish Setting Spray. So that it locks my makeup. And my makeup does not budge all night. So it is a completed look my friends. I did go ahead and uh, made my jura and uh, completed the look with a bindi. So let me know in case you want to see how I made this hairstyle. And uh, yeah don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and uh, yes don't forget to hit that bell button so that you get notified every time i upload a new video also please let me know what kind of videos you want me to shoot so i can create more valuable content for you guys so yeah till the next time goodbye and take care